Hello YouTube, Jarf Bricks here and I just wanted to give you my thoughts on the new road plates that are coming out. There's been a few uh, videos on it already, I've seen a lot of um, pictures on Instagram of what it would be look like and I was just trying to think of what it would look like in my city. So I just thought I'll take two modulars off my table and I'll have the old plates that now are around my city and then I will build a kind of a mock of what the new ones might look like and how much space it would save. Um, so let me just uh, show you what I mean. So here's the current setup. You've got a modular here, in this case a petrol station, and another modular there, and the tuning garage. Now it does, this type of setup does create a lot of space uh, here. This of course does have more space because the car's got to go through. Uh, not all modulars go that far. I tend to have it so it's just four studs, so the wall would be there approximately. Um, but it creates a lot of space anyway for people walking for cars and things like that. But what does the new road system look like? Well, I've just um, made this up because uh, we know it's going to be 16 by 16 wide. So approximately it, it's going to be there. So you, you've got two, four, six, eight studs either side of the road if you were to keep it at the same size, which to be honest, I don't think you need to do that. I have doubled it up so that uh, it replicates the double height of the new ones. And then I've just made these little uh, pavements. So they're just uh, four studs wide. And then you can see there's quite a bit of space. So if you bring these closer, I do think that it will look quite good in the city. Obviously, I've not tiled it up. It doesn't look nice. It's just a, a, a rough guide. Um, but size-wise, I mean, what, what have you just gained there? If you put, get this out, put this back underneath. So you put that on the edge. And you're, you're gaining eight studs per road plate in width. And when you've got a city like I've got, I think that it will create a lot more creative space. I don't really know how they're going to do the corners like they used to. Um, but I just think that um, for me, I think it's going to be quite a good thing that this is happening. You know, cons are that it is going to be expensive. I've got a lot of roads going through my city uh, and it's a lot to replace. I wouldn't do it all at once. I would do it just a few sections of road at a time. Uh, with the existing roads that you've got, I think it can be done slowly. It would cost hundreds of pounds, unfortunately, to replace them all at once, so I would do it slowly. Um, but at the same time, I just think it creates a lot of more space, a lot more creative space uh, to do what you need to do with it. Um, let me just show you around the city now. Yes, my city's a mess. I'm in the middle of tidying it. but. There, you've got along, all along the front there, you've got the 32 by 32 base plate, which limits the height of buildings. You know, that's right on the cusp of being as tall as it could be. In order to do that, the building has to be quite uh, thin and it has to be pushed right up to the front. And now pushing it forward eight studs closer, it just gives me a lot more height to work with. I know everybody's not got a Lego loft, so everyone's different, but for me, it will create um, a better, because of the incline of the roof, it will make it easier for me. 
uh, you know looking down my city the train track there is so tight on the edge that I could put it on proper plates to be able to uh, fit it in it would create a lot more width those all those buildings would be slightly closer uh, again creating more space so this is a project I'm doing at the moment that's why it's in the road and that was the road plate that I took off but uh, yeah I just think uh, it could be a positive thing that we've got going I know nobody likes change but for me personally uh, I'm looking forward to uh, trying to implement it into the city at the nearest opportunity because it's just I think the the pros for me and my city outweigh the cons anyway so that was just my thoughts on it I know there was a lot of negativity about it particularly for those who have a city because of the expense mainly and you know what you can do with the, all the road plates that you've got already um, so uh, I'm sure you can stick them on eBay or whatever and sell them there'll be a lot of people out there who want to whip up these as quickly as possible before they all sell out because they don't like the new ones so uh, you could create a little bit of funding for the new road plates that way um, but as I said I just wanted to give you my thoughts and for me I see something positive in the new way it is going to be more expensive as well because of the extra height of the road uh, so how do you come around that well possibly uh, you'd have to put bricks at the bottom of all your buildings just to raise it uh, raise the whole plate a brick height so you've got that curb that you would have um, again another expense but it's you know there's got a lot of imaginative people out there i'm sure someone will come up with a, a method or a way of um, making it work so let's see what the future holds with these row plates thanks for watching and goodbye